that's what I call a bad bearing. This little trick's been around for a few years, but it's worth showing again when it's done right. This hub bearing's getting replaced, and it is stuck. Aluminum knuckle. You're going to beat on it all day long, and it ain't going nowhere. So you take one of the wheel studs out, which is to hammer it out. And I always like to put a little piece of steel back there to support the bolt. You take a bolt. I got a half-inch bolt here. Got the nut on the back side. As you can see, it's on the back side. And you just screw that, hold the nut, screw the bolt. Until it perches against the, goes right up against that steel best you can. If you got a steel knuckle, you don't nearly have to do it, but this thing will really gouge the, uh, it'll really gouge that aluminum, and you don't want that, if you can keep from it. And you just take your old trusty impact. See if we can get this the first time. Put the wrench on the nut and go to the tightening direction. And there you go. I might have to reposition it to another spot. But if you look and see, look at the gap in there already. It's pulled her right out, and I could have beat on that with a hammer all day, and it still wouldn't have moved. Okay, I took my little puller bolt out. Now, I can take the old, uh, well, this is a Ford. I could call it a Ford wrench, but it's an anything wrench. It's Mopar, Chevy, and Ford wrench. And now I can just... out the rest of the way and there you go so that's your tech tip of the day from old dragon dart